What's good with the YouTube? You already know. Big Flocko from Felons to Men Podcast. I hope everybody's out there staying blessed, positive, and whatnot, man. As you already know, on this channel, man, we try to address certain things that we, you have been experienced when you get out there on parole or being an ex-convict, an ex-gang member, and uh, some of the transitions and adjustments that you have to, to make. As well as some of the things that we perceive um, through our lenses, through our eyes, man. And um, one of the things I want to touch upon that keeps on becoming a... Uh, a very very topic that we keep on hearing man how do you deal with the issues of no longer living that life man the attacks you know what i mean the people who uh speak up on your name how do you put that ego in check you know what i'm saying what are the mixed feelings that you may have when you finally get to an age to where you've no longer lived that life you want to step back step away and you're being judged now you know, being on YouTube a lot, man, uh, me personally, I get attacked all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just is. It just is what it is, right? But at the same time, man, I'm a man at the end of the day. And so people sometimes have a tendency to forget that, you know, those old feelings can come back. And they do from time to time. You know, some, there's times where I've had people tell me sometimes in the comments, well, you did what you did. You can't be a gangster. Well, no, uh -uh. I, I can't be a gangster, but I can act like a gangster. And I can go probably 10 times harder than most. That's what people forget. And, uh, you know, labels and titles don't mean anything. People's actions do. And I think coming home, say if someone decides to go Christian, someone decides to change their life and walk away from it, it's a rough adjustment. Because for many of us, you know, being a Northern or Daniel, whatever you may be, is a second part of your life, you know. And so... Walking away from it, you could have many different types of walks of life that you can you can lead. Like me, you know, I think for the first year, maybe two years, I was uh, sober. And then eventually I decided to use because I had so much anger inside. And, and being away from that life, I missed it. As well as the feelings I had of being treated unjustly. You know what I'm saying? So I had a lot of resentments. And so that's the number one thing is, is you have to let go. You know what I'm saying? If you decide to change your life, if, and this goes for anybody that's even still active, is don't let things affect your ego. Let go of any resentments. I've used this analogy before. Here's a cup. Bam. Every day you, this is life, this cup. Every day you fill it up with shit. If you don't get rid of it every day, it's going to eventually overflow. And then you have a mess. It's the same thing that you have to deal with with your life's issues. Sometimes you got to let go. Easier said than done at times. You know, um, I'm, on, I'm not one to speak. <laughs> but, um, you know, once you come to a, a place in your life to where you find peace and tranquility and, and you've endured things and you see you reap the benefits of your actions is when you can find that place in your life to where you feel content. There's some people I know who've done a long time and they get out and they struggle with being normalized in society they struggle with relationships they struggle with a lot of different things so it's easy for them to go back to old behaviors because then they feel their comfort zone that's the thing that you have to learn is to become comfortable with who you are your authentic self you don't need to self-medicate you don't need to put out a image now the ego is one of the number one things that you have to be careful of as well as resentments they're the number one offender in anything in life that could take you down the wrong wrong path um you know for me myself um i've gone through a lot of shit this last this year and i will say this that if i didn't have certain tools certain um skills that i've learned and acquired throughout the years i would have self-sabotaged already i would have been out there in the streets i would have fucking abandoned all this you wouldn't see me on youtube but be probably facing another case or something man but even though my actions aren't always correct which I'll be the first to admit, I've been, haven't, I've been able to contain the damage a little bit. I've done damage control to where things, when they get to a certain place, it just, I don't go overboard. Doesn't mean I always make the right choices. Hey, I'm human. No human is without fault. And so there's times I make mistakes in the way I address things or the way I go about or, or my decisions. But I'm able to contain the damage. Whereas opposed, I would just self-destruct, self-sabotage, and just ruin everything, you know? So that, that's one of the things that you need to ask yourself, man, is look, you need to be content with who you are and feel right that you can look at yourself in the mirror every day, 
knowing that the choices you made in your life, you're okay with. Knowing that not being a gangster, not going out there doing this, you're okay with. You need to tell yourself every day that you're worthy. That regardless of what people may think of you, regardless if there's other people out there that are fucking more recognized, that they're out there pushing their agenda, they're on borrowed time. You know what I'm saying? You're free. Put one foot in front of the other one at a time, you know? Um, and don't let things offset you from, you know, your goals, your agendas. Like I've always said, never become complacent in life. Always strive like if you were striving behind the walls, but now strive in life. So, like I said, the moment you become stagnant is the, the, and remain idle is the moment you no longer grow. You're content and complacent with whatever you have going around you. If you want more in your life, then keep on pushing and pursuing more. You know, just having those goals to push and pursue more gives you an incentive every day to try harder, to have more initiative. Because otherwise, you just start to become just, you know, it's a daily routine. It, it's, it's basically a boring day, you know. And that's where old thoughts and old thinking and old behaviors can start to surface, you know. I know for me, I've gone through that sometimes, you know. And, uh, you know, tra transparency in your life is always going to be key. Honesty is the cornerstone to any growth. So be honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? No one expects anybody to get out and just change just like that, man. It takes time. It takes growing pains. But if you can do a little bit of damage control and neutralize things as problems start to present themselves, you'll be okay. You know? Just, just maintain. That, that longevity is always the key goal. See, it's not about fucking growing, getting a good job right away, fucking making money, having a car, having a house. It's about establishing yourself with some type of longevity. And I'm still trying to get some, some type of stability of longevity in my life, you know. But um, these are the things that you really have to analyze, you know. And don't always look at things through one lens, like I've always said. Don't have that tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying. And don't allow other things outside of you. External forces affect you. The external forces should never affect you internally. I know that sounds fucking like easy when you when you bring it up, but uh, it's the truth, you know. And, and me, you know, being on social media, huge following, always involved in some type of mix or drama from one time from time to time because I just speak my mind. Um, you know, don't let things take things too personal. You know, that's it's hard at times because people like to get personal with people. You know, and. If you can keep that ego in check and not worry about what the next man has to say about you, you're going to be okay. You know, the moment you get affected by it is the moment you're giving them control. You know, try having fucking about 2,000 motherfuckers that are talking shit about you every day. You know, <laughs> it happens with me all the time, you know. So if I can do that and maintain as best I can with what I'm doing, you can maintain if you hear one or two dudes or maybe talking smack. Is it really worth it? You know, um, you know, life is very precious. What is life but creating memories with your loved ones? And if you're giving too much effort and attention to things that have no influence or impact in your life truly, then you're giving them control over your life and you're not living life free like you should. You know, I have to tell myself that from time to time. I have to go through my own fucking, you know, uh, evaluate my own actions, my own behavior, you know, and... You know, take care of my mental health when I have, you know, issues that are that are hard. Reach out to certain people to vent. You know, I vent a lot to people because I have a lot of emotions. I have a lot of feelings. I'm human. Anybody that doesn't, they're suppressing them. And sometimes we do that because we learn that security comes within ourselves. And I don't want to live life that, like life like that no more. I'd rather be an open book. This is who I am. This is what I do. And this is why. Because then I'm living truly free. But the problem with that is, in my work field, it, there's a lot of leverage to that. People use things against you. They'll spin their own narrative. And see, this is what makes us offset because that ego doesn't want to be attacked. And so you got to come to terms with, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to live life the way I want to live my life. If you don't like it, get the fuck on. Simple as that. Half the time, what are people going to do? Not a damn fucking thing. You know, no one, no one should ever be able to dictate your life or circumstances ever. You know, you know, I go through that all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a, 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 I'm not even going to say what, but that always wants to be involved in my current personal life. This life is my life. It's not yours. Stay the fuck out of it. 
and I should stay out of anybody else's life. If there's no relationship, if there's nothing like that of that nature, then there's no reason for us to sit there and find ways to impact someone else's life. Well, because you did it. Well, who gives a fuck? This, this is my life, not yours. Don't bring up something two, four years ago. That's the thing that will cause things too, is you got to keep your ego in check based upon that. And the problem is, is you have to have a willing partner. When you set boundaries, people always say that you have to set boundaries with people. And that's the key too, man, with your ego. Set boundaries. The one thing that I'm still trying to learn, guys, and I don't have the answer for it. What if you set boundaries with someone and they can't respect it? And because you set those boundaries, they find ways to attack you. That's the one thing I've been trying to figure out because I go through that all the time where I set a boundary with someone and they still don't respect those boundaries. They will go out of their way to disrespect them. So if anybody has an answer on that, that'd be a good topic. Anyways, yeah, um, leaving that lifestyle, you know, you're always subject to judgment. And I'm not talking about just dropping out or anything like that. You could be active, but coming home and being someone different. You know, sometimes you look over there, you're like, man, it'd be so much easier to go grab that pistol or go grab that bundle real quick and go flip that shit real quick. I'll be back on. You know what I mean? Go do a lick real quick. You know what the outcome is going to be there. And never think, well, I could just do this that one time and I'll be okay. You never know if there's ever going to be a next time when you live in that life, man. These are things to take heed to. You know, what's important to you? Is it about being free, being with your family, your loved ones, create memories? Or is it about taking all risk and maybe someday looking at a life sentence in prison? Weigh out the cause and effect. Weigh out the pros and cons. We have your realities. And sometimes it's better to be patient and, and not worry about the instant gratification because that's what people sometimes want. If no one's giving that attention, that ego wants to be fed. Quit feeding the ego. With that said, it's your boy Flackle, Fellas to Man Podcast. Me and Toko are going to do some videos together this week, man. I'm out.